Hi, what energies and opportunities lie ahead for us in this coming week of October 28th through November 3rd? That's what we're going to look at in today's three card tarot reading. Hi, I'm Laura with Heart Driven Tarot, where you receive intuitive insights from the tarot to your burning questions and more. Hope you are doing well. It's getting a little bit cooler. As you can see, I'm in a different venue. I'm staying with my daughter for this week. I'm in Washington, D.C. So this reading comes to you from the nation's capital where I spent 44 years of my life. So I'm back here for a little bit. And as always, we'll share with you the crystal of the week is the red amethyst. The red amethyst is associated with great strength. The keyword also is breakthrough. And what it says here is that the red ameth amethyst lends great strength and like Something from a land long past, this magnificent amethyst has stories to tell of worlds created and laid to, to waste. No longer bound by the past, it hearkens a great awakening on a personal level and can also deeply affect everyone around us. And so the key word is breakthrough, that awakening. So that's an important point. So the red amethyst, beautiful crystal. And the Archangel card I select for this week is Zadikiel. That's the way you pronounce Zadikiel. Associated with teaching and learning is the theme. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach those ideas to others. And this is especially important as the years go by. We want to always continue learning. Keep our minds sharp. Keep us ageless. Always be learning. It's one of my mottos. All right, we're going to select the cards. I'll turn the camera down. What advice does Spirit have for us this coming week? All right, the first card is Five of Swords reversed. Second card is the Nine of Coins upright. And the third card is the Eight of Cups, reversed. So we have all Minor Arcana cards this time. Five of Swords reversed. When this card appears upright, the Five of Swords, and the Swords relate to the intellect, the mind, beliefs, communications. When this card appears upright, it's suggesting a situation or it's presenting a situation in which there appears to have been a battle. We've got the storm clouds in the background. We have these two individuals and one is face, has his face towards us, but the other is facing the sea. And we see this individual in the foreground who appears to be lauding his victory over the two other individuals. And we have, see there are two swords on the ground. The card of post-conflict situation. Now, given that this is reversed, and it's, it's a trying situation because there's been some kind of, there's been a, especially in the area of communication, the conflict of some, of some kind, and there's been a battle of sorts, the fray, from, at least verbally, but someone has won. But now that this card appears reversed, it suggests to me for this coming week, you may be experiencing some inner turmoil, some inner battles, some things that you are trying to sort out. And so it is important to take time to think through these things. For me, what I've been remiss in doing is journaling. I haven't journaled as much as I did in the past. And this morning I finally got back to it because I had a lot on my mind, been going through lots of, been a roller coaster of a week in various areas of my life. And so, I did find it helpful just start putting it out on paper. So if you have this inner turmoil, inner conflict, which maybe come to the fore this week, take some time to sort it out. Whether verbally, you could dictate on your phone or you could write it out or do something. Some people like to draw, get their feelings out on paper. But try to sort out those mental and those inner that inner battlefield, the mind field of your, the battlefield of your mind, I think, as it's called by some, I think some preachers out who I've heard. 
So this week will be a time to sort that out. And then once you do, you'll be able to release it. Because that's one thing that's it's coming up at the end of the week. I believe it'll be the new moon in Scorpio is a time to face your sh shadows. And the only way you can release your shadows is by facing them head on, recognizing them and looking in them in the eye, looking at them in the face so that you confront them, you can see them, and then you can release. So I think that's what this Five of Swords is suggesting that needs to be done this coming week. And as you do so, assuming you do that, what's coming intuitively to my mind is that you will be able to free up energy. You will start to enjoy your life a lot more. You'll be able to tap into some resources, financial, or just in time. Things will be freed up. Again, once you release, once you face your conflicts, look at them and let them go, you'll be able to enjoy your life more. We see the nine, the nine of pentacles or nine of coins is a scenario in which individual is kind of leading this life of luxury. She's very satisfied. She's happy. She's, because it, I guess, centuries ago, having a falcon, I mean, this was something that only the royalty did. You know, they could enjoy having a falcon as a pet. So I believe that Sorting out your inner conflicts will allow you to ease into a situation of greater, a greater comfort, of greater prosperity. And then finally, oh, we, that was the nine of coins. We have the eight of cups reversed. When the eight of cups appears upright, it suggests to me a situation in which now we've got these eight cups, they're lined very, in very straight rows, but there's that gap there. Even though they're all the eight cups are there, it suggests that something is missing. And so we, and we see this individual whose back is toward us going up, he's ascending the mountain in, so supposedly in search of whatever that is that's missing. And then we've got the moon suggesting that it may be a journey, an intuitive journey. Well, of course, cups are related to feelings, emotions, and that intuitive aspect of yourself. Given that this is reversed, I see this is also suggesting that, or I see it as suggesting that now your time of dissatisfaction and being in search of whatever that missing element was is now coming to a conclusion, it's now ending, and that you are finding what you were looking for, that you have found, you will find in this coming week or soon, what you were seeking. Because I believe you face your inner turmoil, inner conflicts, let you know, face them, face them head on, and you were able to release them so that you could ease into greater prosperity and comfort, which in turn, clears the need, eliminates the need for any more searching. You are feeling settled, feeling satisfied. I hope this reading has been helpful for you. I don't have a, a song yet for this, this week because it's just been a little bit, my schedule's been a little bit off, but I will come up with something, I hope, and I will include that in the show notes. I do offer private readings. You can email me at laura at hardtothentarot.com or at laura at shineafter50.com. Until next time, remember, illumine your mind, inspire your life with heart-driven tarot.